everyone, the hot shots have arrived at Welford Road. Yes, Lister Tigers are back at home, but look who's here. It's the Saracens, it's the big boys, it's the big money gobblers. And they've come to try and make a point here at our home, here at the home of the Tigers. Welford Road, you better show up here, Saracens. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Nathan Nichols Be A Pro career. Well, we are fired up here against one of the top teams in the Premiership. It is Saracens who have arrived and hopefully, I would love it if we could absolutely kick their ass. This is a game where you just want to turn up. You just want to dump a team like the Saracens the best that you can and have a look at their team as well. It's fairly star-studded, with their bench is almost ridiculous going through it as well. Amazingly for Nathan Nichols, though, we're up against Tom Whiteley. Who is he? I don't even know, but we're going to make him look like an absolute chump here tonight. He's got a really good back line, though, doesn't he? Nick Tompkins at 12, Brad Barrett at 13, Sean Maitland's on the left wing, it's Alex Lewington on the right. It really is a very, very good side to pack is there with Billy, Billy Bunny Puller, is there Cullum Clark, Dominic Day, Mara Otolje, Titi Lamasatili, the American as well. But there's a lot of players here missing from the Saracen side. And you'll know them as well. We'll look at their bench and guys that aren't even in the 23 is quite amazing. Looking at our side, however, nothing has changed. Hopefully Jake can actually learn how to throw a line out this week because last time, he was woeful. But the rest of the team, though, unchanged. Thompson, Colin is still in there. Denton at eight. Ben Youngs and Nathan Nichols to run the show yet again. And, of course, in the outside backs here, you've still got Vayanu on the, the left side. The man himself, Jonah Holmes, who's become an integral part. And, of course, our South African in the back, Yako Telta. Our team's unchanged. And we're ready to go again, undefeated. And looking to make claim to this season being the one... That is of the list, the Tigers. Let's get into the action, but first things first, have a look at that bench. George, Woody Puller, Skelton, Rhodes, Spencer, Farrell, and Taylor. The only one I'm not super familiar there with is Kieran, 18. The other reserve prop, but boy, oh boy, that whole bench could go into the starting lineup, and no one would really even bat an eyelid. We're not too bad on the other side. We've got a very strong bench still on our team as well. But let's go. Let's put these guys to bed. This is Welford Road. This is the home of the Leicester Tigers. Bring your best, Saracens. Let's see what you got. Of course, we do have our objectives. And of course, there's been a couple of you asking about how close we are to becoming the be kicker in the team as well. So we'll have a little bit of update on that at the end of the episode. We have lost the ball, though. Mind you, as we've gone one or two phases of attack and quickly out wide. Where's Yarko? Yarko! Oh, no, he's not only fouled. What are you doing, Yarko? Signing autographs. That's what he's bloody doing. Sean Maitland grabs the first try down the left-hand side. I haven't even checked our um, rub commitment or anything like that. Look how quickly they threw it out. Lewington, the right winger in midfield. He just went straight out to Sean Maitland. And Yarko Telta, where were you? It was an average play there from Thompson. It was terrible. He lost the ball. Back to Lewington. Fires a wild old pass out. Nathan was coming across. Look at Yarko. He wasn't even in the frame. He was miles. He was over the dead ball line. What has gone on there? Wills Ruff is the man with the T. Of course, there's no foul. He's on the bench. So a bit of a bizarre one. Oh, this one's going to hit the uprights. It is a straight. Wiggle your way back to halfway, maybe. Go on. Get out of here. 5-0 the score. I'll take, well, I don't like it, but I'll take it. Let's get things sorted out here. Underway we go again. Our number nine, Ben Youngs, kicks it long. That's, a, that's, a, that's got to be a turnover, doesn't it? Surely. Oh. I tried to call for the pass. Sorry, Jakey. Good, good turnover, though, Jake. Good turnover. Don't be too downhearted about that, my boy. Okay, let's... Let's cause some mayhem. We are at home. We love high 
remember we were at home as well. Okay, I've just been put offside by an absolute divot. No, don't put me in there. Still offside. Here we go. I've got him. I'll take that guy. It's no, I've got no one. It's probably intercepted. Eggsman puts up a high ball. It's there for us again. We've recovered. Smash it up, boys. Get on high. Don't give that 4 4 formation on the pods. It slipped back to Nathan. Well, we've really been absolutely mugged off there. That's a shocking pass. Win that. Good boys. Youngs. He'll pick and go to nowhere in particular. That's pretty bad. We're going to lose that. Why? Why? We haven't retained possession there. I don't know, but let's get in there. We've made one of our two tackles. It's a bit of a run. Well, it looks like a toll, eh? We are not really in this game at the moment, are we? We're not playing good rugby at all. There's an offload coming. Saw that one a mile away. Get in there, boys. Are we still on the way? No, we're not. Good tackle. Great pass. Intercepted again! Help him out, boys! Get on high! So pick and go. Why am I entering all these rucks? Riddle me that. I'm stuck, actually. I'm still stuck. It's come up a funny. We haven't even touched the ball yet. Right, come on. We've got to make line breaks here, boys. Oh, throw an intercept pass. That's a shocker. And it's gone back to South as they go long. Yako! Good boy, Yako. Okay, we'll, we'll let that one slide, Yako. Don't see him. No, we, let's rack him in there. It is. Thumped away. We need to get kicking meters as well. It's a nice little kick, actually. I'll let that one go. That's a nice play. We had to secure that ball. Right, what do we have to do here? We're halfway through the game. For well, the first half, at least. We are still on high. Yako's on normal, that's good. We've got to make some kicking meters, some line breaks. We've lost that line out. You saw tackles, I think we've made one, probably two. We've got drop goals in there as well, which is a bit of a concern. Our mall is absolutely getting destroyed. Right, yeah, I'll read that. Here's our tackle. Oh, it's complete. Almost another intercept there. Still on high. Take that short side. Get in there, get in there. Pile on there, boys. Turn that over for us. Thank you. We'll take that. It's a pretty goal. It's a kick, actually. It's this thing that we chase as well. It looks like our second row. Oh, oh, no! Oh, Nathan's gone for the absolute gauntlet there. What a tackle. Rips his head off. I like it. I like the ferociousness in that from Nathan. You know what, I thought we were going to get a yellow card there, really did. Wigglesworth kicks it away. Okay, we've made our tackles. Offloaders in there, drop goals in there, so offload ain't going to happen. Let's upset their line out, boys. Come on. Oh, not quite. So close again. Now stop letting them maul it. Stop them all. Stop them all. That's better. Good work. Now, here we go. First seat. But, oh, no. Oh, no. I was going to smash him, too. I had that red. I thought I knew what was coming. Oh, he's offside. Is he? How's he not offside? We've lost it straight away. How is Rakimimim only on medium? Let's get those numbers down there, boys. Defend. Cover. Yako. Put him in touch. Yako. Oh, he's passed back and found us a try. Number two to Saracens. And they are doing us pretty badly at the moment. It's Wigglesworth. Of course it is. Where's that team gone from the first couple of rounds? We were so good. I thought this season's going to be a breeze. Lillington went back inside. And then they went out wide. Brad Barrett was the man. He got smashed. But they had covering cross support play. Maybe it wasn't the best thing that Nathan got that intercept. I thought he was on to say now. I thought, yes, we stole the ball. He's not offside. But how quickly they turned that little glimmer of hope for us into a try for themselves. Damn you, Richard. What do you got on for T? Wiggles? Stray, please. No, 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 no. I don't like that at all. Here we go. It's 12-0. Leicester Tigers. I'm disappointed. We've not fired a shot here in the uh, first half at all. 
I'm probably being a little bit too involved, though, I do think. Let's get this on high. Let's get those pods moving like that. Let's spin it around. Let's see if we can win. Oh, we yeah. have. Yes, boys. Pile in. Release. Yes, I like it. I like it. Yes, here we go. Line break coming up for Nathan Nichols. Oh, what a tackle that is. Release. Round the bootlaces. Scorch it. Something back inside the outside. Colin Mafoni. Go past the Nathan Nichols. And he'll score. Oh, what a time to do it. Colin Mafoni. Magic man in the on number seven. And his offload to Nathan Nichols, who literally just stood up. After the last phase where he was buried. Watch this. There's the pass. Slipped inside. Come on, Mufani. Look at him go through. Nathan on the cutback. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's a game changer. I tell you what, Come on, Mufani. Thank you very much. Great work there too. Lavanini hit that ruck hard. And Leah Tagaga was the man who started off. They went to the left. Oh, Come on, Mufani. I love it. I can watch a replay of that all day long. Sadly, though, that's not an offload for us or a line break, which is a bit of a shame. I thought it might pop up. It was half our line break, surely. Come on, Jonah. Put this one over. Good boy. Here we go. We're back in the game at half time. It's 12 points to seven. Unless the Tigers do not go away. Look at that stand. It's only covering like. A quarter of the stand behind the uprights. That's a bit weird. Off to half time we go. Raise the roof for the Tigers. That's what we need these fans to do. Surprisingly, very surprisingly, we've had more possession than the Saracens, but yet we struggle to make anything from that. Tackle counts fairly even. Of course, Nathan Nichols gave away the penalty for the high tackle. It was a scorcher. But look at that, we've been done in. Saracens really are killing it. When it comes to line breaks, they're making easy inroads in our defence, which is quite disappointing. 12-7, that's any one game at the moment. Now they can vote a try, and we will take the lead. Let's get back into the second half and make things happen. You know what? We're not far from being the actual kicker for this team, which, like I said earlier, I'll show you guys after this matchup. That's a little bit fancy from Saracens. It's on high, boys. Don't even break the line. Good tackle again. Not releasing. Yeah, penalty. Oh, I love it. Thank you very much, Nathan. He's got the penalty. Not releasing in the tackle. Go home. Take the three. Come on. This is easy. Oh, it's easy. Come on, Jonah. Oh, I wish we were the goal kicker. Jonah's not a name to really call someone you want to be your goal kicker. Oh, but this one is good. Jonah Holmes puts it over. Yes, so we are now really in the chance of this one. Jonah Holmes, he's got five points to his name. It's also five to Nathan Nichols. It's 12-10. The hard wiggles. You're going down, boy. They come crashing down on your wiggly party. Short kickoff. Not a bad one either. I didn't want to call the pass, I wanted to enter the ruck. It's a pick and go. It's an offload as well. Yeah, Takaga, the man. Jeez, we're going to lose this ball, aren't we? Oh, that's just pity. Of course, it's not on high. That's the problem. That was almost forward. Oh, great tackle. Dominant tackle. Big play in the breakdown. We are entering too many tackles here. Oh, so close to winning that ball. The only one who stayed in at the moment. It's another good offload. We need an intercept. What is Nathan's role here? Oh, that's a big pass and a good tackle. Shutting it down. They pass back on the inside. Break that away. Don't let them score. Cover across there. It's a try. They finally got it to Maitland. The Saracens score again. Oh, it's Brad Barrett. He's got a bit of toe for an old man, doesn't he? Oh, that was frustrating. Really annoying. The hooker went through. We put in a monstrous hit on him. They just keep it alive. And I knew as soon as that guy was getting near tackled, he was going to pass it. The two midfielders, Tompkins and Barrett, right there. And they were always going to have the speed to finish that job off. Oh, big tackle on the hooker. I like that. I'll see a replay. That was a forward pass. Come on. We come across nicely. But just didn't have the pace. Siako. Well, he's given himself a neck roll there, isn't he? He's almost twisting himself inside out. 
We need Wiggles to miss this one. To stand any chance. 17 points to 10. It's on this left side. He scudded one from here before, but this time he's on fire. And we're back to needing to score twice. That is frustrating. Because remember, we've got a kick as well. 50 minutes gone. Let's play the territory game, shall we? Two line ball. We're not having a good game here at all. We've made our tackles. And that's about it. Let's get the game back underway. Oh, get that on high, guys. Come on. We've regathered. Oh, what a play as well. We've cut them up down the right hand side. Let's get on high. Let's get it wide as well. There's a hole there. There's a massive hole. Great into play between our forwards. Advantage. Oh, we've knocked it on. We have knocked it on. Carl Eastman. Someone go back, actually. They've got advantage. Oh, that is so disappointing. Carl Eastman. You're supposed to be our integral part of the back Crunch. line. The experienced Find. guy. The one who will actually do something decent. Sit. You let us down there, Kyle. That was a try for us. Had to be a try. Look at where Nathan's going. Here we go. Run onto it. Oh, he's just... Oh, no, he hasn't intercepted it. Release. Close to it, though. Keep them trapped. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a bit dodgy from Nathan. Just get on high. Let's get back on side. I'll take, I'll take this channel. Are, are we? Are we? Are we? Hang on. Hang on. You know what? Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. There's a three-pointer on off here. Nathan Nichols! Three-point drop goal! Yes! We've got it! Now that's crucial. That's important. Because now... Oh, no. A converted try, isn't it? Oh, no. Hey, we've got drop goals complete now. We've got drop goals. That's all that really matters. Come on. Convert a try. You know what comes back into my mind when I talk about a convert a try? That is, is that Cheetah's game. Where we had to really steal that try off Sinatler. We passed nicely. To get under the sticks. Here's a chance to run away. What are you doing? Why'd you pass it? Why would Release. you do that? Here we go. Back. Kicking meters. Kicking meters. Please. Kicking meters. No, 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 no. Back to Nathan. Yes, this smash this downfield. Ah, oh, it's partially charged. But we could regather. 35. We could regather. Get in there. Kyle Eastman. Oh, he slid on it, but couldn't get it. It's returned. Hang on. I want to play the kicking game. I want to play it. Here he is, Eastman. He's got it again. I want to play the kicking game. Pin them down. Let's get those kicking meters done. It's close to the sidelines. Yes, it's stayed in, boys. Good work. Nathan needs the charge. Oh, what are you doing, Nathan? You were supposed to pick it up. Oh, I can't believe what I've just seen. Why wouldn't have he just picked it up? I didn't push a button. I just ran towards the ball. Oh, that is so frustrating. Okay, Jonah. Oh, goodness me. Camera spins all over the show. Okay, boys. We go again. Callum McFoy has just been smashed there. That is a shocking run. Release. We hung on just to the ball. Goes to the right. Straight to the left. Here we go. Vainu, run to the line. Just go, my boy. Just go. Do we do it? No. We let me rely. Vainu, under the six. That's good enough, my friend. That is good enough. It's 1918. Kick to come. Jonah is the man. Mr. Holmes. Can he do it? To lose Vainu. And yes, I am probably personally pronouncing that wrong, but hey. It rolls off the tongue a bit easier. Once he was gone, he was gone. It was very similar to what we saw for two seasons with Sabilo Sinatla. Once he got that space. What worries me about this Tigers team now in the last couple of weeks is their inability to just take that chance. We saw that space on the right-hand side earlier in the game. They just didn't run. They, they passed back inside are they trying to find a, a, a back or... Just run, guys. Just run. Right, Jonah. This is up to you. And probably some defense as well. Holmes. Jonah! Yes! He's got it over! 19-20. The Leicester Tigers lead. And we've got five minutes to play. Hold on to your hats. This one's gone the distance. And we're playing two fullbacks. 
We are playing two foot. I am not going up. We lost the ball straight away. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Turn it over, turn it over, turn it over, turn it over. How have we not turned it? You know what? I don't care. Smash it downfield. Oh, stay in, please. Oh, it's right. What is going on there? Oh, Nathan is so close. Release. How did I not score that? On the left side. Lance Gagar almost scores. Come on, boys. Let's finish this. Whipped on it. Nathan can't get through there. Oh, I should have kicked it out. We go. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I really don't care, Ben Youngs. You could have just absolutely pummeled it. I wouldn't have minded because all that matters is they were won by a point. Oh, yes. What a victory. Well, as the Tigers come from behind, what's a performance? And how the objectives go, Nathan? Well, I don't know. I think we did everything but line breaks and offloads. Oh, what a win. That was all I cared about. We stay undefeated. The big slickers from the Saracens come down to Welford Road. And you know what we've done? We've kicked their ass and sent them back to where they've come from. Two tries to three. I don't believe it. We've won by scoring less tries. This is so unlike a Nathan Nichols episode. We normally just score fives, and that's all we care about. No, not today. Not against the Saracens. This is a little more on it. This is the team you want to beat. Whether they're playing in this division in the future, actually or not, it doesn't matter. They're here. They've got the big names. They've got the big guns. And you know what we've done? We've beaten them. Convincingly, no. But we've got the job done. One point difference. Tries for Nathan Nichols and, of course, Telusa Vayanu. He has been brilliant for us this season when he's got the ball. Jonah Holmes, though, two conversions and the penalty. And really what was a clincher was a drop goal from Nathan Nichols. Wigglesworth, Maitland and Barrett with one try apiece. Uh, let's be honest, Richard Wigglesworth, the man of the match was the Saracens. Uh, try, two conversions. Sean Maitland scored early that, put us on the back foot straight away, and Brad Barrett almost took it away from us in those final 15 or 20 minutes or so. But we fought back, we fought back well. Look at that. We have more ball, more territory. Well, I think we just played a, a team that could take their chances. We probably didn't do that so much, but we still come away with that win. Tackles almost dead even. Handing errors. I mean, we made that one high tackle, uh, and we got that ruck uh, penalty as well, which that got us the three points off the tee. So really, Nathan was instrumental tonight in the breakdown and open, well, not an open play, we didn't get the line breaks. Hey, we should have scored more. We put that little kick into touch, we should have just picked it up. Uh, we chased well, we were a metre short of scoring right at the end there, so what a game, what a game. Nathan was brilliant, we made no line breaks, even though we scored a try, but hey, we still got kicking, drop goals and the tackles, which really... Uh, we'll take that. Three out of five, and we won. It was a close game. We had to really pull out all the stops. High tackle. <laughs> First time we've done that. But, of course, the drop goal. Massive for Nathan. Well, we may not get the big boost on speed and acceleration, but let's be honest, it wasn't that kind of game for Nathan. We had to play a very different style. I think when we play the better teams, we have to be more involved in winning position and actually getting our team, you know, getting our team to play. And that's why kind of this one at the top here, line breaks, I guess we didn't have that freedom of consecutive phases with ball in hand. That probably cost us. We weren't sitting out, at, you know, second receiver. We've got a bit more space and things like that. So that sort of game plan didn't play for us tonight against the Saracens. But what did play with us was that. 133 kicking meters, easily done it. Made our five tackles, only needed two. And of course, this one, pivotal. Because I know you guys really... Well, I want it as well. We need Nathan to be the goal kicker and the play kicker for this team because that is going to mean we will get more ball given to us because we're the play kicker. So that makes us the playmaker and that makes us involved more heavily. So that is really our key target at the moment. We've got good increases, still 78 rated overall, 0.7 on aggression, one whole point on tackling. Woohoo! Love a bit of that. 1.3 on kicking and goal kicking, 1.1 on strength, and 0.4 on a discipline, you like that was anything. We just cleaned up a guy in the first half and took his head off. Alas, on we go. A tidy rating of 4.6. Could have been better if we didn't just roll on the mud uh, four times with four missed tackles and setting that penalty as well. 
But yeah, had a good game. Scored that try. Good running meters. 50 of those as well. Scored the try. I think that was a big part of it as well. Colin Mofoni, take a bell, my friend. That was sensational. So, heading into our next matchup, we're taking on Harlequins. Well, well, well. How are the Harlequins going? How are the Quins going this season? Let's take a quick look at where they're sitting before we wrap up today's episode. They are way down the 10th. One win, three losses. That gets me excited because we're at home as well. But what you guys want to know, let's get into that. Nathan Nichols, that's not where I wanted to go. What an idiot. We'll do that one last. Next match. Okay. Here, I mean, come on. Man, that's rocketed it up recently. Last time I remember really actually taking a proper look at this, it was about three quarters of the way up. Now it's almost max. Really, we should be the goal kicker and play kicker. Definitely not captain, but certainly those two. Definitely, we are a, really a fluff away from filling up those bars. So there you go. I'll check it. I'll check the team and see if they're going to make the change. But um, at least next season, we should definitely have that role if they do any changes to the starting lineup. Next match, though, you can see our objectives there. So where does that leave us for Nathan Nichols right now? Um, what else is I going to have a look at? Uh, squad. That's right. Are we the kicker? No. I think they'll have to wait for either Ben Young's or Jonah Holmes to get dropped or rotated out or whatever before that's going to change. So we will... Yeah, we're up there. Next season, we should definitely be in that position. So there we go. That is today's episode. An absolute thriller against the Saracens. Love those kind of games. Great that we come good right at the end and drag our team to a great victory. That is it for today's episode, though. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I will see you all again for more from Nathan Nichols, Be A Pro. Until then, though, I'll see you for the next one. Take care.